brought to you by Dehancer. Use the promo code RABBIT to receive 10% off Dehancer products. Dehancer.com. Hey, welcome to NAB New York. I'm Martin Lindsay with Sony, and today we're showing at one of our areas of the booth a new PXW Z300 camera, uh, as well as our integration now with LiveView. So we have a partnership with LiveView where we'll be selling a LiveView transmission unit that will do file transfer, uh, as well as our portable data transmitter, which is also a Sony unit. It's a, it looks like a phone, but it's not a phone. It's a robust media device that'll do file transfer, it'll do uh, streaming video, it has an HDMI input for capture, as well as a LAN port for RJ45 connectivity. Um, it also has a built-in cooling fan, so it won't overheat like a lot of other devices could. So this will run easily in a hot environment, 95, 100 degrees in the sun all day long, no problem. So this can be paired with our new camera, the Z300. You can slap it on the side here. It'll have a USB connection on the back for that data connectivity. Uh, when you do a record in the camera, it can then push the, the clips into the mobile device, which then will transfer up into the cloud. So that will happen seamlessly. It prevents your operators from having to remove media from the cameras. It will prevent them from then having to take that time to put it in a laptop and transfer it, because it's all done instantly as soon as the record is finished uh, from the camera through the PDT itself. So now going back to the, the Z300, this is our new flagship handheld camcorder that it, we launched in or announced in August. It starts shipping in September. Uh, some unique features of this are um, the ability now to be able to move the, um, the uh, LCD. So you can move it around in a different positions. You can center it. You can put it to the side. Uh, the beauty with this is you're able to push it forward. So you can use the Z300 similar to a shoulder mount now. So you can kind of put it on your shoulder because now the, the LCD is pushed more forward. On the traditional cameras, the LCD would have been somewhere around here, which is right in your face. So it's nice to have the ability to push that out. So again, having that articulating arm uh, is also good to move it out of the way. And you can put it for a journalist uh, in front of center the, the lens um, so they can see themselves and, and frame themselves as well. So good flexibility there. We also support the ability now to have CF Express cards and or SD cards. This is a nice feature set, so it's not a proprietary card. You can buy a card pretty much anywhere as long as it's a, a SDXC card. And we also uh, have changed the power supply on this. So now it supports a USB-C, let me get this open here, USB-C PD power supply, 100 watt. You provide it to there, and then um, it's not a proprietary uh, power supply, so you can use pretty much a, a generic uh, type um, uh, supply for that. So uh, that that's fairly, I mean, it's got all the great lens functions in it. It's got a, a constant f1.9. Uh, lens throughout the wide, throughout the zoom, wide to tally. Um, and then we also have, as I mentioned here quickly, it was the LiveView integration with, uh, with Sony and LiveView teaming together to provide a um, file transfer device over bonded networks. So at the beginning, we're launching this uh, in, in 2026, just announced uh, at IBC. And this is, we'll be using a LiveView network to do bonding. And with bonding, we can accept up to two SIM cards built into the LiveView device. Uh, you can also do an external SIM card as well, or external dongle. Uh, and it'll also bond with a RJ45 and a built-in Wi-Fi as well. Uh, with that, the ability, uh, it provides you the ability to connect to a camera similar to our mobile, our PDT. So this can also go out inside the camera like that. Uh, and this does similar to the PDT where you can do file transfer but it's using bonded cellular, so two SIM cards. Uh, the beauty with that is you get the native files out of the cameras, over the LiveView network, back to your facility with all the original uh, file format size. So if it's 50 megabits per second, you get a 50 megabit per second clip back at the station without any kind of uh, compression uh, schemes, or there's no, there's no compression at all, it's bit for bit. So yeah, those are primarily where we're highlighting. Of course, the audio goes on the back here now. On the successor model, you used to go on the top, so we made it a little more ergonomic, so it's easier to hold the handle as well. But um, yeah, looking forward to uh, looking forward to having this all work together with LiveView in 2026. But again, our uh, Z300 is launching very soon, or be shipping very soon in mid-November. So excited about that as well. Um, any questions or uh, anything that you need some more, more information on, we'd be happy to join our, or check our website out at Sony, prosony.com. This is the BTRP Media Network.